I want to show you very briefly why you have no reason to be afraid anymore. I don't care where you are. By reason of what Christ accomplished on your behalf, God will lift you. God will exalt you. Our Heavenly Father will move you from where you are to where you ought to be by the power of His Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to show you that man's enemy, the devil, and his evil workers and works have been fully destroyed. Many people are afraid of the devil. You don't have to be. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, we are told that the enemy, the thief called the devil, has come but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. You see, an enemy whose agenda you know of can be checkmated, you can stop him. When you know who your enemy is, one, and what his motive, mission, or assignment is, you can stop him. In Ephesians 4, 27, we are told never to give place to the devil. You can stop him. In 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9, we are to disallow Satan in space. We are to resist him standing strong in the faith and he has got no choice than to go. In Luke chapter 10, 18 and 19, the Bible says, I beheld Satan fall like lightning from heaven. That's Christ speaking. He says, Lord, I give unto you power, power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And he says, nothing shall by any means hurt you. So we have what it takes to stop Satan. We have it. In Hebrews 2.14, For as much then as the children of God are partakers of flesh and blood, Jesus himself also partook of the same flesh and blood, that he through death might destroy him, the devil, that has a power over death. In Colossians 2.15, Jesus has spoiled the principalities and powers and made a public show of them on his cross, triumphing over them. In 1 Corinthians chapter number 15 and verse 26, the Bible says, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is dead. And Jesus Christ has done that. Every enemy, all of them, have been destroyed, and the last one Christ dealt with was called death. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 10, Jesus Christ has abolished death. So death has been abolished. He has brought life and immortality to light by the gospel. You see, when we talk about abolishing death, that does not mean that after you have finished your work here, you will stay here. You will go home. But listen, you are not going to go home because any powerful force killed you. No. No power has ability to kill you unless you want it. If you don't want it, nobody can kill you. Jesus has destroyed man's last enemy. He has destroyed everything that enemy used to use to destroy mankind. In 1 John 3 and verse 8, He that sin it is of the devil, for the devil has been sinned from the beginning. But for this purpose was Jesus Christ, the Son of God, made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. So he has destroyed the works of the devil. There is no work as far as God is concerned that is to take you out of this world without your permission. It is what we allow on earth that heaven allows. What we disallow on earth, heaven disallows. So, the ball is in your court. What do you want? How long do you want to live? What do you want to experience? The choice is yours. If you take a stand to the heaven will back you up. Whatever we allow on earth or permit here on earth, that is all heaven permits. My prayer for you is that you will never allow Satan any space. All the devils, serpents and scorpions under your control. We have been given power to cast out all devils. We have been given power to heal the sick of every sickness and of every disease. We have been given power to cleanse the lepers. We have been given power to 
free every captive, to heal the sick and to raise the dead. So the ball is in your quarter, my God. Take a stand. Make your choice. And whatever you choose is what God will have chosen for you and what God will choose for you. Choose to live. Choose not to be messed up by the enemy. And no force will mess you up. You are blessed. In Jesus' precious name.